Gacha recap of 2023. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, he has all of this. He has Gacha that came out in 2023. Honkai Star Rail, Brown Dust 2, Aether Gazer, Outer Plane, Tuck Opie Symphony, Higan, Eversoul, Limbus, Snow, Break, Danmachi, Final Fantasy VII, Ever Crisis, Tower of God, New World, Esther Tataricus, and Mobile Gundam, Reverse 1999, Black Clover M, Jujutsu Kaisen, Echocalypse, Captain Subasa. Breaking Ground. Okay, uh, this is very very interesting. I like this. So this is going to be new releases with the highest combined revenue for 2023, right? Okay, let's have a look. 2023 games that were released uh, in 2023. Honkai Star Rail. Total revenue is the highest out of all the gacha games. 381 million. That's crazy. Second place will be Jujutsu Kaisen Phantom Parade, which came out recently, by the way. Like around October, November? Jujutsu Kaisen Phantom Parade uh, managed to get $36 million uh, total revenue. To be fair, this is a Japan only, right? As far as I know. Eversoul at third place, $22 million revenue. Eversoul has the advantage over a lot of these gacha games because it was released on early January, by the way. It was released in January 2023. I remember playing it. The first game to release in 2023. Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis. Ooh, this is crazy. Total revenue, 21 million. To be fair, this game has JP, has a uh, global server combined together. Tower of God New World, 21 million. Black Clover M. Damn, this is like top 10. 17.5 million. Okay, Atelier Wrestlerania, 15 million. Brown Dust 2. Didn't earn as much as I thought. Uh, this is going to be for global server, 12 million. Oh wait, Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis is JP. They didn't combine it, is it? This is JP. Then there's Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis for global, which got 10.2. Limbus Company got 7.3. Money Makers. Games with the highest combined revenue. So Genshin. Genshin is the winner. Genshin has the most money, $517 million. That's a lot. Honkai Star Rail, second place, $381 million. Uma Musume, at third place at $350 million. If Uma Musume release a global server, I think it can be second place actually. What do you guys think? Would you guys play? Would you guys play Uma Musume? I feel like some countries it could be famous, right? And it's only Japan, right? It's crazy, right? Honkai Star Rail is global. Uma Musume is only Japan and is earning three hundred fifty million. It's crazy, man. And then a Fate Grand Order JP server only. Uh three hundred thirty-three. This JP server only. What didn't they add? Nikkei shift up three hundred and twelve million US dollars. Then Blue Archive is in the top. Wait, what? You're telling me that Blue Archive is in the top 10. I was not expecting Blue Archive to be here. I was expecting Genshin, Honkai Star Rail, Uma Musume, Fate Grand Order, Nikkei, yes. I was expecting Epic 7, Azulin, Arknights. I wasn't expecting Blue Archive actually. I didn't know it earned that much. I guess uh, global plus JP it is a lot, right? Nikkei from Nikkei to VA is a huge difference. It is pretty huge, right? It is pretty huge. Um, oh no, this is uh, keep in mind this is only JP server. My bad. Nikkei is every server together. You can see the the small at the top right the picture. There's a small JP sign there. So blue archive is only JP, right? So let's see Summoner's War. Summoner's War, hundred twenty four million dollars. Heaven Burns Rate, $123 million. Asune Miku, JP Server. These two are JP, okay. Memento Mori Global, $87 million. So this is only in 2023, right? The top 10 in 2023. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, top 10 in 2023. Bottom Feeders. Okay, guys. Who are the bottom feeders? What are the games with the lowest combined revenue? Guardian Tales, damn! Uh, Guardian Tales number one, JP. Guardian Tales, JP, okay, JP. If you play global, it's fine. Alchemy Stars, US. 
Damn. Girls Frontline JP. Okay. Puzzle and Dragons are global. Artery Gear global. Uh, Black Clover M. JP. At least Fiction global. Bang Dream Girls Band Party global. Echocalypse JP server. And the biggest loser of all, Artery Gear JP server. Earning $149,000 across the entire year. 12 months. Might as well just shut it down EOS. Just kidding, but it's, it's good if JP players love it, right? Downloads. Downloads, okay? Ooh. What game has the most downloads? Guys. If somebody asks you what's the best game, Gan Shin. What's the game with the most money? Gan Shin. What's the game with the most downloads? Gan Shin. What's the first gacha game you play? Even though it's not Ganshin, tell them it's Gan Shin. Okay? What game do you think is the best game? Don't even think about saying any other game than Gan Shin. Okay? So Gan Shin, number one. 18 million. 18 million. Number two, Honkai Star Rail. 10 million dollars. Number three, Dragon Ball Legends. A lot of people downloaded Dragon Ball Legends. Then a lot of people downloaded Black Clover. Damn. Black Clover has that many downloads. <laughs> You're sick of Genshin? Why are you sick of Genshin, man? It's number one. Play, play Dragon Ball Legends then, huh? You're gonna be sick of Genshin? Or you can play Black Clover M, or you can play One Piece Bounty Rush. One Piece Bounty... Dragon Ball Z... Oh, Dragon Ball has two games, so maybe you compete amongst each other. Dragon Ball Legends, Dragon Ball Z, Dokkan Battle. Hasune Miku. 2.7 million. Tower of God has that many downloads? Damn, that's crazy. People really love Tower of God, eh? This is all carried by the IP. Except for Genshin and Honkai Star Rail, Dragon Ball carried by the IP, Black Clover carried by IP, One Piece carried by IP, Hatsune Miku is like... Is, is it an IP? Is somewhat an IP? Tower of God is a f famous manhwa, Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis, Captain Tsubasa, Ace. Ah, alright. So these are the top downloads, alright? Download domination. The most downloads combined for the last six months. Okay, heavy hitters. Biggest monthly revenue in 2023. This is for the winners. Alright. Number one. Gen. Oh, wait, it's not Gen. It's Honkai Star Rail. Ooh. Number two. Uma Musume Pretty Derby. Number three. Gen. Gan Shin. Okay. Gan Shin. Number four. Fate Grand Honor. <laughs> Number five. Nikkei. I think this one is like highest revenue, okay? Nikkei is okay. Heaven Burns Red, number six. Jujutsu Kaisen, I think the first month it released, it got 25 million. Dragon Ball Z, Puzzles of Dragons, One Piece Bounty Rush. Damn. Alright, alright. Revenue, biggest revenue increase in 2023. Okay, guys, biggest revenue increase. This is from the lowest to the highest. So one month, the game got 1 million. Suddenly, the game got 10 million the following month. So this means that the game... This is, al this is always a very shocking thing. That means the game usually has like big collapse or big stuff happening that makes it like go up so much, right? I have a feeling Nikkei is here because Nikkei has multiple collapse. Or during anniversary, it could, be, it could, be, it could affect that as well, right? So let's have a look. Fate Grand Order, biggest increase, 370% increase in revenue. Arknights JP, okay. Honkai Star Rail, from 20 million to 81 million. Ooh. Heaven Burns Red, Octopath Traveler JP. Counter Sight. Counter Sight. From January 2023 to February 2023. It earned from 300k to 1 million. Why is that? Oh, was it because it merged? No, I think it was because it merged. Remember, Countersite had merged. Uh, before that, it was separated, right? Countersite Global and KR were separated, and then JP was separated, and then they all merged into one. So this is like the revenue combined. The one million was actually revenue of all the Countersite server <laughs> combined, except for C server. No C server. Okay. So this one is um. It's kind of uh, people that look at the revenue, they won't know. They don't play the game, they won't know. 
Okay, let's see. Uh, Tak OP Symphony from 60k to 200k. Arc Knights Global. Uma Musume from 26 million to 76 million. I think this was their anniversary. Outer Plane from 400k to 1.2 million. Okay, biggest revenue decrease. Okay, Higan. Higan from 1.7 million to 130k. Extremely high drop. Everyone leaves the game. Alice Fiction from 120k. To 18k, it dropped by so much. Tak OP from 1 million to 160k. Arc Knights JP from 12 million dropped all the way to 2 million. Okay. Tak OP again, JP server, that one's global server. Neural Cloud. Snow Break from 1.2 million dropped all the way to 300k. Dragon Ball 22 million to 6 million. You know what they say, the bigger the bigger they are, the harder they fall, right? So it got so much and then it dropped so much. Neural Cloud JP, Dragon Ball JP. To be fair, this is 5 million. This is a lot, man. This is a lot. <laughs> this is a lot. Okay, let's see. Next category. Games that end their service in 2023. Games that EOS, this is the real losers. Okay, this is the real losers. But we don't make fun of them, okay? Because they are dead. Please don't make fun of any games here, okay? They are actually dead. They are like dead, dead in the grave. You can no longer play them. Okay, so we don't make fun of them. Sino Alice. Destiny Child. Girl Cafe Gun. Revive Beach. Princess Connect. Okay, everybody's favorite. Still playing Princess Connect in JP? You can still play in JP actually, right? Whether it deserve or did not deserve is like a different topic. It already happened. I farm too much in Princess Connect. Wait, there's a lot of farming? I thought you just sweep everything. What is there to farm? So uh, it is what it is, you know? It is what it is. Sometimes you win. Sometimes you lose. 2023 was a great year, alright? So yeah, I'm also working on my own gacha games tier list. And I'm also currently working on my own gacha recap of 2023. But hey, big shout out to gachareveneu.com. If you guys are interested, I'll have the website pinned in the comment section. So you guys can uh, reference it there. With that being said, that's going to be it for this video. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. Give this video a like. I'll see you guys very, very soon. Alright, so I'm really excited to show you guys my version of the gachas of 2023. Have a nice day. Goodbye.